All right, so this is my entry to uh, Alex and Doom's 400 sub contest. Uh, huge congrats to you guys. I've said it both to you. I think you are some of the backbone of this community and some of the best channels out there. Uh, so huge congrats to you. Uh, Would have made this video regardless of what your giveaway was. Um, your giveaway is really cool, actually, the whole roulette thing. Uh, keeps everyone mystery, and who knows what you'll end up if you win. But, uh... Anyway, uh, we had to be subscriber, obviously I am, uh, 18 or older, uh, you wanted us to sub, I think, eight people, I went through the list, I was already subbed to all of them, so, good on me there, <laughs> uh, shout out a YouTuber over 100 that I enjoy watching, that's really hard, there are so many good YouTubers out there, uh, I kind of pondered on it for a while, and I decided that I was going to go with Master X Splinter. Uh, his videos are always just so educational, and I like watching them before going out and doing a haul, just to see, who knows, maybe there'll be something I didn't know about that I need to, to grab, but, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna shout out Master X Splinter. And then you wanted us to answer a few questions. Our biggest stealth comic of 2016. Um, for me, a stealth buy is a buy that the, uh, seller doesn't really know what they have. Um, I do that quite a bit at my discount comic store because they nobody knows what they have there. It's just a giant wall of books and you pick through them. Um, so I've gotten a lot of, what, 20 to $50 books through there. Uh, I sell the ones I don't want to keep and then I, you know, kind of hold the other ones as trophies. Uh, NYX4 and Power Girl 27 are two of my favorites from that. Um, both were dollar buys. Uh, both are in really great shape. Uh, Power Girl's probably like a 9.4, would benefit from a cleaning. Uh, NYX is probably, I don't know, 8.5, maybe 9. But those are both dollar buys, and really happy to get those uh, this year. Uh, the proudest book I purchased in 2016. I feel like I've showed this book, I don't know, a million times already. But Amazing Spider-Man 300... Uh, new stand edition. It's a pretty decent grade. It's either a 9.0 or a 9.2. Uh, pressing and cleaning would probably help it. But uh, I think this is the book that I actually made the most money, so to speak, even though I'll never get rid of it. Uh, I only paid 120 for it. I think it could easily go for double that. Uh, I don't really consider it a stealth buy because the seller knew what it was. They just didn't sell it for that expensive, amazingly. But yeah, that's that's kind of my proudest book of 2016. And then, uh, the last question is, what comic or run are you determined to work on in 2017? Uh, originally, it was going to be getting this, but I accomplished that really early, apparently. So now I think uh, my biggest goal is to get issues 50 through 100 of uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. I've been working on that run for a really long time, and I'd like to just sort of, you know, knock it out. Um, everything else on my 2017 wish list are high priority, too, but I think uh, the first, or the 50 through 100 of Amazing Spider-Man are really what I'll be satisfied with 2017 if I can knock those out. But, uh, yeah, that's everything. Uh, again, huge, huge congrats to both of you. You are key figures in this community, and I look forward to every video you two make, but, uh, take care.